uh, I call this meeting of Ohio County Fiscal Court to order uh, on this uh, ninth day of April 2019 at approximately 5 p.m. Uh, the first thing I want to do is ask Larry Morphew to say a prayer for us and lead us in a place of the flag. Lord, we just come before you tonight thanking you, God, for the many blessings. Lord, you're so good to us. Lord, we just ask you to be with us tonight. Give us the strength, the courage, and the wisdom to conduct the county's business pleasing to you. Just go with us, lead, guide, and strength. In Christ's name we ask. Amen. Amen. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, Indivisible with liberty and justice for all. There, you're going to have to get inside shields on your glasses where you can't see them. They look in glasses, you've got those shields on. Okay. Uh, before you gentlemen, you have the minutes of the March 12th meeting. Uh, do I have a motion to approve? Second. You get them? Yeah. Motion second? Okay. Have motion second. Is there any discussion, corrections, or additions to the minutes? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Uh, Chase, would you like to read the amendment we need to do to the January minutes? She thinks she thought you had the wording on that. Distribution, LLC. Oh, yeah. We're talking about a, a motion to correct the minutes of the January meeting. We when had I, some. When I presented our last loan to you all, I mentioned the, the name of the business as Uncrafted Territory. The actual LLC is Renfro Distributing LLC, so that needs to be what is named on the uh, on the loan. So okay. I'll issue that for correction. Yeah. Renfro what now? Renfro Distributing LLC. Do you need a motion to change? Please. Yeah. Motion. Okay. I'll second. We have a motion and a second to amend those minutes. Does anyone have a uh, any discussion about that? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Uh, write that out and attach it to those minutes as well as putting it in these minutes. She'll pay attention to me, but I like to show off and like I'm telling her something every once in a while. Mm -hmm. Hey, gentlemen, before you, you have the bills, claims, payments, and transfers, do I have a motion to approve? So moved. Motion by Larry Morphew. Second. Second by Larry Count. Is there any discussion? Discussion on the bills and claims, payments, and transfers? No late lifts, Ray. No. Which is a good thing. We don't like late lifts. Mm -hmm. Okay, roll call, Miranda. Cam? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Treasurer's March 2019 financial statement. Do I have a motion to acknowledge that we got it? So I'll move. I'll second. You have it? Yep. Any discussion or questions for the treasurer? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed like sign. The treasurer's report is approved. You also have the county clerk's report uh, for the uh, 3-1 through 3-31. In other words, the March report for her uh, taxes collected. Uh, and it's so it will be filed with the minutes. Like motion. I have a second. A second. Second by Jason Bull. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed like sign. Motion carries. Well, I, go, I wish we'd go the rest of the night this way. Um, all these yay. It's, it's, it's wonderful. Okay. Did y'all see the budget amendment? It's 20... Uh, 
Has anybody got a copy? I can look at it. Is this This is amending and the um, governor's blacktop penny, and also on the sheriff department where they hired two additional full-time resource officers. And that is all paid back to the school board, but I have to get it in the budget. Reimbursed. Okay. Yeah. You have motion? Yeah. Move. Okay. Over there. I have one motion and a second everywhere. So you got it? Yep. I sign it. Right there. Yep. That's the first reading. Yes. Ordinance requires two readings. Uh, next we'll call the sheriff. He's got something to tell us. I think he brought us a check or something. <laughs> <laughs> how are you doing this afternoon? Good, how are y'all? Great. Good afternoon, guys. Uh, we, uh, in dispatch, uh, Lisa, I'm going to do the introduction and then I'm going to let her take over. Um, we've got an issue in dispatch with our CAD system. Uh, the old system we have is... Uh, and the mapping, yeah. Uh, it's about 10 years old. It's obsolete. Uh, we're to the point now that they say if we don't switch over, uh, which we already have, into the new system, that they're going to start incurring cost on us of maintenance for the old system. And Lisa will tell you that that was an ungodly figure uh, for them to come if we had maintenance issues. Our contract run out, uh, ran out with that uh, older CAD system and uh, now we're going to have to update uh, our uh, service agreement with them, install new software and the installation. That bill comes to about $20,000. Uh, that's $20,000 that we don't have in our budget there. We're operating on about uh, uh, $2,2100 is all we've got left in our budget down there for the next uh, three months to operate on. Uh, we're asking you for the money to update this system for us. Uh, I'm gonna let Lisa describe to you more in detail what that system consists of. Lisa, you want to uh, what we got new was a uh, phone and a map system that uh, I don't know if any of you have heard of the next gen 911. You might have touched. Uh, that's where everything's going with 911 now. Um, that's the future. They're getting rid of what they call legacy routers. Everything's going to IP routers. Uh, this will give everybody the benefit statewide and nationwide. Uh, will enable texting to 911, uh, images, videos to 911. And that's where everything is now being required to have the ability to do that. And so that's what was, is being offered. We were able to get this new system for the same monthly cost as what we were paying with the additional one $20,000 one time fee. Um, plus we were able to install a fourth station at the same price. The only thing additional is a one time $20,000 fee. Um, we hope this will run us another 10 years. Yeah. yeah the one we had is, was 10 years plus. Yeah. Is there any uh, grant money available? I believe that one was put in. We did get grant money for it. Uh, no, we didn't get grant money for that one. We didn't? Okay. No. But, um, that was on the uh, first year we applied. And we yeah. got the, uh, How long has that one been in? About 10. Yeah. 10 years. 10 years. I could see where the I could see where the new system would certainly okay. save lives. Yeah. It's much faster. The mapping is much more accurate and quicker. Um, it's it also it's safer on our officers. Um, They've added a few little things too, uh, you know, like the way that she can look up recorded conversations. Just a few things that have changed inside the system that makes it a little easier for them to look up things. Uh, the mapping standards are up to date. Uh, you know, when our officers, they say there's a medical or a, a burglar here. 
in progress and she can give good direction on an update map. She will even give directions. Uh, we can plot where they're at and where we're wanting to go, we can give the directions. Now, Judge, we've applied for a, or in the process of applying for a new CAD system. Uh, we're discussing phone system, but we've applied for the new CAD system, yes. uh, and hopefully that comes through. That's going to save us some money, according to them. We won't have, we won't any longer have a CAD bill. Do you, you remember what that is, just for the CAD? Just like that. I'm sorry to put you on the spot. Well, the 911 bill is divided up into two different things. One's like seven thousand dollars, and one's like nineteen hundred. So okay. I know my which is which. Yeah. So. Um, we hopefully we can get that through. Lisa, Lisa's working on that. Might have to. That's what I'm going with the grants for the new CAD. If we get the grant, we can think impossibly. Uh, just for example, say it's a hundred thousand. Well, if, if the court approves it, we would be responsible for ten percent, ten thousand. They pay the ninety, and that's it. Then we wouldn't have a monthly fee after that. So essentially. Grant will pay for the system. And, uh, I got you. So that would help save some money but too. What What are we proposing right now to get us out of the deep? We need twenty thousand dollars to pay that uh, first time, one time only fee for this system, the phone and mapping system, mm -hmm. and that'll get us. Uh, that'll get us through until the next ten. Yeah. Maybe. That's what my question was, uh, Tracy. Is what's expected? life of it. That uh, one lasted about 10, so we hope it'll last 10 or more. You know. be long enough for us. How often do they want to update it? I know yeah. with a lot of they software they want to update Get one that lasts five years? Yeah. You know, uh, do what? That would be so they can get a cheaper yeah, one that lasts yeah, five years? Yeah. One thing about the CAD, and I was not with the 20,000. We may need that service. That's so one thing. Mm -hmm. You got that right. I need it in about three weeks. They'll want to bail it. It's an outbreak. We'll start calling the phone. So we'll act we're able to obtain or Keep all the information there yeah. now and just put it into the news. Yeah. And now we, KSP, we got it. Yeah, they went with the same system that we've got too. Now we still pay seven to eight thousand dollars a month for phone service after this twenty thousand, but that's out of our budget for that. That's budgeted that for that. Yeah. So that's a lot of money for phones. Yeah. Yeah. What, well, what do you do? Where would that twenty come from, man? <laughs> what if we move into a new uh, center? Can they move them with us? Yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with it. We'll build it right beside the new jail, Judge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, adjacent maybe. I mean, add on to it. Yeah. But it's not as costly as a jail. Well, I don't know if you divide it by 10, that's just $2,000 a year. I know you initially needed up front here to start with. Again, it's, it's an asset to our county to have our citizens in emergencies and dispatching fire and ambulance, yeah. our police officers. So we feel like it's a necessity to have. We, we've got to take care of it. Uh, I'm I kind of a little confused. I would move there. then, Judge, that we take $20,000 from reserve and put in for the upgrading of the 911 system. So. Do I have a second? Second. How much do we have in reserve? Yeah, that's something you got. To and authorize. Uh, and authorize and make check. Right, check. Okay. And they're they're uh, they're adding it. It's got to be a twenty thousand dollars over front. That's the point. So, but I thought it was already in. We we got it in place. They've been a little delayed in sending the bill, so we just now got the bill for it. They gave us a little, little bit of time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, little bit of we need to vote on that. Then I'll talk to him about that. But I don't have an issue with it. Give us a heads up. Ahead of time when we know we're going to be yeah. Give us a way. Well, up. actually, we kind of got dropped on us, too. And, and Who seconded that? Did you Larry. second it? Larry, Larry Morris. But there's no funding to even be granted to look for it. Even after it's already done, there's probably... Right. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and roll call it, Miranda. Cam? Yeah. Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. So, Tracy, we'll oh. motion carry. See you then 10 years? Is that what yes. we're doing? Hopefully, Larry. Hopefully 10 years. Uh, next week sometime, we'll get with you and 
actually meet with somebody to talk about a building and see if it is suitable for uh, for a uh, dispatch center. So we can start working that direction. And it's not right in Hartford, but it's just outside of Hartford. How much, I don't know what kind of issue. You and I will ride over and look and then take it from there. If we don't need to go any further, we won't. But if it's a possibility, we'll go further with you know, it. We've had several uh, issues with the sewer system in the building down there the last couple of weeks. I appreciate y'all getting on that and getting that to take care of for us. Yeah, if, uh, if I could find those guys that put it in, I'd have a good talking to them. They put it in 1941. So How long was it guaranteed? Yeah, it should still be under warranty. Uh, did y'all check the warranty information on that? So. Uh, but, I have one other thing, Joe. Yes, sir. Uh, our radio tower, we had a uh, booster in it that went down. Charlie and I got BDI to come out, and we had to repair that, and that was $1,000. Uh, that's not something I'm busted to take care of. And the last time you guys took care of the, the coax cable that we needed up there, so... I'm asking for that too, $1,000 to pay for that. Yeah. Uh, think the ambulance service would pay for it for us? Well, we could take it off that ambulance that they're trying to get. Uh, <laughs> no, I have to live down the road from Marcus, so that wouldn't be a good idea. So I, I'm, I'm asking you if you well, could get that paid for. Uh, let, let us work on that. Okay. I, I work on that with Charlie, and uh, okay. we'll see how we're going to take care of it. How soon is that bill due? I'm sorry. How soon is the thousand dollar bill due? They've already repaired it. Uh, we actually we asked them then what would it take to fix it, and they didn't have a clue. They just said they had to take it, and tear it down, and they got it fixed and put back together. And it gets our signal out to our guys. Or the road. Yeah. Charlie said he didn't have any problem taking it out of his. But. <laughs> Sure. Y'all are going to get me in trouble before I can. <laughs> you don't live with Charlie. <laughs> but I appreciate your consideration and yeah. thank you for the dispatch money. We greatly yeah. appreciate it. Uh, we're all going to wait. It's going to take care of you. But for now, it's going to be harder. So try. we need to all try to avoid situations like that if we can. I promise you, if we can save $2,100 in three months in our dispatch budget, we'll be doing good. Yeah, so, I, 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 yeah. I mean, I'm just talking about everything in general yeah. and that's to everybody, not just to you. We ha we're in a dangerous position on our reserves right now. Thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you and I'll get with you next week and we'll go out there and look at that building. Hey, Master Charlie. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Yeah, tell us what this is, Charlie. This is an update on the 911 addressing where we're at in the county. <clears throat> we're still in the 4th District. Uh, everything highlighted is the roads that we have done. And we're into the city in 54 now. And the city of Warsaw is going to take us a little while to get that figured out because we're, we're working with the state and make sure we get all the numbers right. I know y'all have asked for updates before, so I'm going to make sure I update y'all. And we're trying to do this as everything else we're doing. So we're trying to get one day or one day every week to try to get out and do this. The problem is it takes two of us to do it. So when we go that is we go knock on every door, kind of like the census. To get these numbers right, but that's where we're at on this right now. What's the uh, okay? I'm looking at the yellow highlights. Some of them get you blue roads, and then the yellow highlights is that well. The yellow is the I mean, that's yellow. the name the pink. highlighted in pink. That's yeah. the roads that we have done. Okay, anything in blue has we have not done yet. Okay. Most of them are state roads, aren't they? That's so correct. State that. road 54 Minute we haven't done yet because that's how we have to walk and touch every house. And if they ain't home we leave door hangers, then hopefully they'll call back and we'll go back to them to get the proper address. And to be honest, the fourth district ain't bad. Most of the roads, we've already encountered probably 10, 15 roads that's messed up. All the rest of them are looking really good. That's great. What so, district are you going to next? Fifth. Fifth. We're going to do the clockwise. Because I'm saying Miriam Harper for last. Yeah. 
instead of this election year, give it to your, and that way when they went door to door, they I know, I've been a good idea. Yeah. Well, that's where we're at. Uh, appreciate it. Anybody got any questions for Charlie on that? No. Sounds good. If you don't, well, thank you, Charlie. Next, I want to introduce to you uh, Jason Ward and Matt West from the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet. They're going to tell us about our rural secondary road program. And before I get it, before I forget it, I need y'all to hang around a few minutes afterwards because we're going to ask you some questions on another item to bring it up in a little bit. Okay. Uh, members of the Fiscal for uh, opportunity for us to uh, be here. Um, <laughs> We're going to talk about the uh, 2020 fiscal year uh, rural secondary program. Uh, the rural secondary program oh, you got uh, a copy of that. is uh, the just program share that. Oh, okay. Kentucky Transportation Cabinet that uh, has funds allocated for uh, construction, reconstruction, and maintenance of the KYTC secondary rural roads in each county. Uh, allocations, uh, annual allocation for each county is based off of this formula. Uh, and then the flex funds is a, is a portion of that program that uh, the county is a, is a portion of the, the funds that the county has the option to retain. Uh, you all can use that on your, your local county roads. Uh, you can also get those funds back to us and we can use them on our state routes. Gentlemen, I hope I was okay speaking for all of you, but I told them we wanted to keep it. Is that all right? Yeah. Hey, Judge, this is good. <laughs> hey, I got a, I've got a recommendation on here. You may want to. Uh, I will listen to it. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, the 2020 year uh, fiscal year uh, total uh, funds for projects in Ohio County is uh, one million two hundred eighty-three thousand. Uh, funds uh, for KYTC projects was uh, about uh, nine hundred seventy thousand, uh, and then. Ohio County, uh, the roads, KYTC routes are ranked A, B, C, G, and E. And uh, if, if the state roads, the condition of them is an A, you get 25% uh, of the total uh, funding for, for flex funds. If it's 20%, or if it's a B, it's 20%. Ohio County, uh, the state routes were ranked a B, so that's why the 20% there, uh, that's 20% of all the funds is uh, retained for flex funds. Uh, uh, that's that, that there's only three or four counties in district two that are that are ranked to be uh, the rest are a, a C. Yes. Uh, and then there's only across the state I've, I've looked it up. There's only a handful that are even an A. So yeah. it's pretty rare. Uh, anyways, there's three hundred eighteen thousand uh, dollars in flex funds available. Uh, our recommendation, KYT's recommendation number one, is uh, Kentucky 1737. Uh, we would uh, uh, do asphalt resurfacing on that. It's the entire length of the road. Uh, it stretches from US 231, uh, extends all the way to Kentucky 1414. It's about 3.9 miles. And we know that is Silver Beach Road. Beach road. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we would overlay the road with one inch of asphalt, and there's some base failures that we would we would go in and fix before we put the surface on there. Uh, we got an estimated cost of about 320000 for that. Uh, recommendation number two is uh, Kentucky 2668. Uh, it, it's the entire length of roadway in Ohio County as well. It goes from Davis County line, Davis Ohio County line, to US 231. It's about 4.1 miles. Uh, and we would overlay that with inch asphalt. Uh, and that estimated cost about 280000 uh, recommendation number three for the KYTC uh, projects is uh, Kentucky 629. Uh, it runs from Kentucky 54 to the Ohio Brett County line. Uh, it's about 3.7 miles, and the estimated cost is about 270000 Uh We did provide a flex fund recommendation in the event that you all would be generous to get those back, but, uh, and that was a bridge, uh, a bridge deck over PL Railway. On Kentucky 1245, uh, that, that's an estimated cost about 250,000. Uh, so from you all today, uh, if you, if you don't have to do it today. You all can look over this and the later meetings, but uh, we'll need you all to uh, approve on KYTC projects, uh, and then for the flex funds, we'll need a approval from you all to either retain them or or allow us to to utilize them. Yeah. Uh of course, we we'll, we want to retain those. I'm pretty sure we'll put that in motion. But I see no need in, in waiting. 
to prove these because every one of these roads that they've mentioned needs done. So moved. Motion by Larry Cannon. To take the recommendation of the state. Yes. Second. And I guess I need a separate motion. Do I need a separate motion on the flex, flex funds? funds? No, added in that motion. I'd okay, added, and that we retain our flex funds. Hey, Judge, if, if, if you decide to you get go forward with the flex fund option, that will still leave approximately $170,000 in the flex funds for you all to utilize on county roads if, if you want to replace that bridge or do that bridge work. Um, not, it's not all of it, it's just. I understand. I understand. We have motion second. Any further discussion? Let me see your motion to where you write it. Yes. And I'll initial this and give it to you. Okay. Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Like sign? Motion carries. Thanks, Matt. Y'all got any other questions? Oh, we, we do in a minute. We're going to cover another item, and then we get into the one after that we, we need y'all for. You guys already had supper, hadn't you? So. <laughs> You've already had supper, so we have to wait a little while longer. <laughs> No. Oh, I don't guess that went over too good. Uh, I, I'm just asking. I don't have. A, I don't have a right to tell you that, but I'd appreciate if you'd stick around a little bit. Okay, the census, Charlie. We got a resolution on it. You want to explain it to him? You got the census resolution. They're all okay. Explain to him what it is. What's the number? Damn. You got the number? Okay, I'm sorry. It's okay. That one and the one right after. I we got to do a resolution tonight for the census. Oh, we we're got to start the census up here in Ohio County. And we're getting ready to do a complete count committee. Sam, it's in the and what that is is a group of people that come together, help push it out to the people, let them know when the census people come out, answer the door, it's okay to fill it out. Uh, there ain't nothing criminal, criminal or anything like that on there. So we got to have the resolutions tonight, let y'all do that, and for us to do that in count, and they're going to come in and train us. It's us, like myself, the media, the hospital, OCEA, a bunch of different organizations going to come together and help push it out to the people in all nationalities, Hispanics and everywhere. Purdue's on board, they're going to help the pull the flyers out there to Purdue. Lance. Because they say when they do the census, 15% of the population don't even get counted because people are afraid to answer the doors or people are afraid to fill out the forms. So we're going to try to help that out this year. That's what the resolution is for. Somewhat different. What are you using the inch? That number is there. I would like to have motion to to, to approve resolution 2019-14. The complete count. But basically, it's just training. Are you doing the training for you guys? Uh, the census people are. They're going to come down and train us. If the mayor is a three-hour training. And so when is is there funding from us, or is that just it's free? Free. That's yeah. the And everybody else is on board on the committee is volunteering. Okay. And when is that training, Casey? The twenty-fourth of this month. Okay. Did it, one o'clock. So Justin, oh. did he draw this up? Uh, I did not. I think it's something this. that they, the state probably uses or we're It's the same. It's the state uses the same thing. It's a point thing. one that Davis County, McLean County, Grayson County, Butler County, all of them already done. Yeah. It's the same so so You have a motion by Sam. Okay. Second by Joe Barnes. You didn't see any issues though? I didn't. No, no. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. That motion carries. Um, we're going to have to pause just a second here. She's going to print something off for you. We didn't have the copies for y'all to look at. And it's this Vita 1903 exchange is what we want to talk about. Yes, She's going to go get the resolution what it looks like. For some reason, we didn't have a copy of it in her folder. Yeah, when you got it. Well, while she's getting it, would you go ahead and explain what it consists of? On the beta, we know. It's gone. We don't bother it anymore. But on the 1903, uh, at the, at we're, we're uh, guaranteeing a good road when it's it, when it, we get it, correct? They're going, the coal mine's going to pay the part they tore up. Yes, sir. And you're going to see that the part that's not is okay. So, yes, yeah, so... 
as you know, a few years ago, the coal mines asked about closing the section of uh, 1903 so they could mine through it. Um, they put a big bond to uh, guarantee that they'll fix it back when they were done. We accept that. Um, also, there was some flexibility in there that you know they didn't have to build it back in exactly the same place since the coal mine owned all that ground on either side of the road. That, you know, they could straighten the road out a little bit if, if necessary, take out some curves, what, you know, and, and abate some problems maybe, and maybe make the route even shorter, you know, by taking out those curves. And, 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 um, and we told them that when we get to that point, then we would, we would review it and improve it if, if, uh, to see if we agreed to those abatements. And uh, so I, I kind of see it as a possible win-win for everybody by doing that. But it will, I, the question we'll have, and Sam had today, was that it, we would get a good road. It would be opened up 100% through road. Well, if we give the road to you, then that would be, then I'm going to, I'm going to, I don't know for sure, okay? I'm going to assume that if we trade the road to you, then that bond to build that, that section of that road goes this is to the county bad. also, and then you all would be responsible for making sure that the coal mine builds you back a good road is what I'm assuming I, I don't know the answer to that question. So, and we may need to table it just a little bit. May, Would that be a big problem if we wait until next court meeting on that? Uh, I don't have. I actually have the service mining agreement. Yes. Okay. Agreement. Click cancel already passed. And, I know. and it yeah. is with the state of Kentucky and the coal mine. Right. So if we take ownership, this piece of paper this is void for us, right? Well, it, I, I'm, I'm not the attorney, okay? Right. I, think, okay. I think we could add in the resolution assignments of. Of, of those things, but the only the one issue that, that I was wondering about when I looked at this was it said uh, 1.1 to 3.2 has been closed uh, due to coal operations that will not be reopened once now. mining operations cease. So it, it, it seems that there may be a portion there that they're not intending to reopen and bring up to coal in a sense, for lack of a better term. But I think the main thing that uh, Magistrate Small is, is, is concerned about is that there will be a roadway that will, will go from Rockport to uh, short Highway 85 uh, without any interruption and that will, road will be up to par once, mine, once the mines leave that area. So I was part of those negotiations when we decided to allow the coal company to yeah. close that road, okay? And I haven't read the agreements and I haven't seen anything about it several years now, but from my recollection, when, when, when they finished their mine operations through that area, then they were going to reconstruct the roadway. And Not necessarily in the same place. Just yeah, the, and and connect there. everything back yes. up to where you could drive all the way through there like you could prior to uh, yeah. the closure. I, I was sure told that. I was in on the agreements in the beginning. And I was told in the end there would be a road. So uh, now, as far as that, uh, the, the bond. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I apologize. No, you're fine. I, uh, you know more about my day. As far as that bond goes, I think there's probably some options there. Okay, options being that we could transfer the bond from KYTC to Ohio County Fiscal Court. Uh, there may be an option there where we maintain that bond. <coughs> And basically, we, we maintain ownership of that roadway until that road's built back, and then we give you that section of the roadway. I think there's some latitude in there on how we do that. Uh, that's something that uh, we, we would probably need to talk to the, uh, the attorney to and, and see okay. what, how those options can play out. Okay. Um, that's fine. If you don't my mind. My concern is, is with us taking this on, we don't want to lose this binding contract. We I'm don't want that. to end up with the mines coming back because they filed bankruptcy. So we don't want them to come back and say, hey, wait a minute, we don't have to do that because the state no longer owns it. Right. Well, we'll take this back up at the next meeting and, and they'll I, give us a chance to ask these questions. With you is I don't, you know, we don't want that to be an issue. Right. That's, that's why we got the bond. So the bond is there to protect ourselves to, to be able to reconstruct the road back if like the coal mine going out of business, right? So that money's already been, you know, when, you, when they purchase those bonds, it's with a bond company. Basically, the bonding company is like an insurance company, and they're insuring that you that they're going to rebuild that road back and it's in, for for the amount of money that's in that bond. 
And so, with this being said, can you find out on your end and let us know oh, what yes. you find out? And, and I'd ask that Justin would, would uh, dig as deep as he can dig and, and find out what we do on our end. What laws ensuring that the road is reconstructed? It reconstructed it reconstructed the intersections mm -hmm. that are still there. I think there's a lot more things we need to talk about on, on all that. We, need, we probably need to get further Larry can. and so, further concession. As far as this conversation with you and the yeah, maybe attorney. we need to set up a meeting at our office. If you all can come to our office, and we'll have our attorneys there, our attorney there, and and, and we can and we can just you, know, you understand the talk to about the, all this and get, get down to the nitty gritty of it. Yeah, I think ultimately we'll get where we both want to go. Right. Also, the we question see. is, are we are we taking over just that section or the whole road? From my understanding, it's the whole road. The whole road. So, how long is that distance? Total road. I, I don't know. I don't remember. How long is the distance on Beater Road? Beater Road is, is about three miles. Yeah. How long is the distance on Main Street? I would say it's around eight miles. Ballpark number. Mm -hmm. I don't exactly remember, but I'm going to say it's yeah. around eight miles. It's it's to it's to our advantage if we get a good. Make sure it is a great road, and it's our advantage because if we got more miles in so our we're system, we're out three miles the more, for eight miles. Yes, yeah. but now, I will say that typically when when we trade roads, yeah, y'all win. It's going to be a three to one. <laughs> for and, to it. But we get a good road, and, and it goes into our formula. We get more CRA money. We'll, we'll just keep what we got. <laughs> yeah, I understand, Jason. And, 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 I'm just, and I'm not trying to be. Yeah. No, no, I'm I agree. Being, that's just the way it is. Yeah, I'm just looking at the, the also the, the, you know, we're up. We've already got problems up keeping our county roads, and then right. we're going to we're going to increase the road miles, even right. though we're going to get a little bit of money each year to help it. Right. It's still not enough. Yeah, because uh, that part of this one is based off a mile. Yeah. So I th we're going to go from three miles to eight miles. Yeah. I, th I think that... Uh, it, 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 the ballpark number, I don't know the exact mileage. Of the thing. I'm going by memory here. I don't have the uh, route log in front of me. And I, I, I can get the route log and look, but I don't know the exact mileage. But it may be seven miles, maybe not. It's somewhere in that, in that number. I don't remember exactly. I mean, I have to be honest with you. Last time I drove that road was right after they closed it. Mm -hmm. To make sure that they had the proper signs up to, to close the road correctly and, and have fair warning. Mm -hmm. and since then, I've been driven that road in several years. Now. Well, we'll take it up at the next meeting. And Justin, if you don't mind asking some questions about it, and uh, like motion we table this. Yeah. Judge. Yes. No second it. And, and so, we, if, if you want, we can we can try to set up an appointment. We can, you know, we can either come here to the to Ohio County, or, or you all can come to our district office there in Massaville, and then and. and and if you have the, a list of questions that we can go ahead, mm -hmm. you know, and that you can send to us, we can go ahead and do research on those questions so that when you show up, hopefully we'll have the answers and, and, mm -hmm. and, and, and be efficient with your time. Okay, we'll get that set up. And, and that would probably, you know, that way when you come in, we can say, here's the answer to those questions. We'll get, and then, is there any, what else you got that you need us to try to figure out for you, you know, or look into for you? Um, we have a motion and a second to table it until the next court meeting. Uh, that would be in uh, May, the regular one, not the special, at the end of the month. So all in favor say aye. 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 Uh, opposed like sign. And, and, and there's no timeline on this, so... But I don't want to wait forever. We'll right. give an answer in the next meeting. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, if it, if it takes us six months to get to these answers to, to, to satisfy everybody, then, you know, there's not a deadline. But, uh, Did you bring this one? You know, it, it's always we'll nice to get these things finished once you start, of course, but there's no deadline. Yes, sir. What's the attorney thing? I, I know that used to. We got our attorney, Joe Kelly. This same thing, yeah. Yeah, I'll try to maybe coordinate with him, and then we can kind of get everybody and see which magistrates want to go. And, and of course, we got a uh, uh, whole staff of attorneys mm -hmm. in the, in the we call our central office there in Frankfurt. At the uh, transportation building there in Frankfurt. You don't have So one of those attorneys may also back. come down and join us at that work on that type of they kind of yeah. So, uh, you know, we want we want to make sure you all are are satisfied with whatever yeah. happens because we, you know, we're not in the business of taking advantage of people either. No. And so we we want you all to be satisfied before you know we, we this happens. If you're not satisfed, then it won't happen. Uh, yes. The, I'm the, sure we can get through it. We just the theory. Some issues. Yes, right. This is a special case. Typically, we don't have a road with a bond on it like this. When we're, when we're making these kinds of, uh, of uh, agreements, okay? No. Typically they're clean. This one's not so clean. 
We need a good relationship with the uh, uh, transportation cabinet because they've been very, very, very good to us lately. Did yeah. y'all bring this up? I don't know where it was. No, the nature and I've been talking about it ever since she's been the engineer. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where it was initiated. Uh, the judge may know better than that than I do, but I, I don't. I don't know when it's initiated. I just know that she brought to my attention a few months ago, and and said Beta Road. If, if we'd be interested in taking that road from the county, if we, and, and, then, and then we give the county 1903, and so Matt and I. With this agreement, Beta Road, and we're okay with Beta Road. It's, it's not ideal for us, but we're okay with it. So, with this agreement, are you going to repave any in 1903? Eventually, the old section. Eventually, uh, the, the Beta Road part that we would take. No, from, no, the 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 part of 1903 that the coal mines the don't coal mine repay. Didn't where the bad places are all in it? Because I just worked on Beta Road a lot. There's not a lot in in bad on 1903, but a few potholes. That's there's something some, that we can talk some, about. There's some bad places in it. I mean, if there's some areas that yeah, we let's need check to address, that out. then we could probably <clears throat> figure something out on that. Okay, okay. let's check on that. Um, anything's possible. I'll put it like that. All right? There's, there's no no's out there. Yeah. If anything's possible. Yeah. So, uh, so, yeah, if there's some areas that we need to address them, then typically, that's typically when we do this kind of stuff, we... We go out and address and make sure that you know the culverts are okay and and you know and, and, the, and the pavement's okay so that when you take it over you don't have to immediately do a bunch of maintenance on it because that's again we're not trying to take advantage of nobody so you know we're really trying to attenuate the work right? no 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 you know want to make yeah. sure we got it i'm just right? saying we, we you know, three it's, to it's one. like the golden rule treat others like you want to be treated right so that's what we try to do a so, three to uh, one and four to one trade though that's no mercy and it's kind of know. big in your all's advantage yes. though Yes, the way it usually happens on that part. <laughs> I'm not trying to be a smart aleck about it. I'm just saying, it, you know, it, we're trying, I'll be honest with you, we're trying to get out of the county road business, okay? And I say that meaning we have a lot of state roads that probably should be county roads. They shouldn't be state roads sure. because there's not enough traffic going on. Like and we shouldn't be maintaining roads that don't Here, I got sign it, four or five hundred cars a day on or more. And we got a lot of roads that have less than a hundred cars a day on. So we're trying to get out of the county road business, and I call that because typically those should be a county type of road, and somehow, some way, they end up being a state road, right? Mm -hmm. And so we're trying to focus our efforts on the higher traffic yeah. roads that sure. you would typically think of a state road, and get away from some of these lesser volume roads that typically you would think of as a county road. That's that's what we're trying to do. Yeah, that's the reason we're getting so much help right now on our road. Just is to cooperate with the state yeah. on, it's on been helping them. Several to, years ago, Jason, but the state used to take in roads. They would take county roads into their system, but now that's been yeah, that's, 60 years ago or whatever. And, uh, and so. now, in those decisions, uh, you know, they were made by elected officials, right? Yeah. Louis Nunn's administration. I don't know. It's before yeah. my time. Okay? It was. <laughs> I've been here 20 years. And that's Sadly, it wasn't before my time. Yeah, so. Uh, and I know there were some times where, like maybe it was Louie Nunn, I don't know, who said, hey, if you got any county roads you want to give up, the state will take them, and we just take them automatically. Uh -huh. And that's how we got a lot of these roads that I, I'm i saying are, are, are the type of roads that should, are more in, in line with what you would think of as a county road. I think 1903, though, was the state built highway. I'm sure it was. Actually, Vita was, too, at one time. I know Vita Road, Vita Road is old 231. Mm -hmm. So Vita Road was 231 before we rebuilt 231 and straightened it and widened it. And then <coughs> sometime, if, if it, and I don't know if it was part of the, the deal when we built 231, sometimes we build new roads, we'll make a deal with the local city or the county to take over those other sections that are basically being abandoned from, from the road that we're rebuilding. So that might have been the, the case in that, in that time. You know, and I... Uh, I know we've done, I know we've uh, traced some roads with, with Ohio County in, in the recent years, uh, and we've made some, you know, and we paved those roads, they were gravel roads, and a lot of those were roads that were built as access roads, and we built the West Kentucky okay. Parkway or Nature, and, 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 the, and the fiscal court at that time, it's been, what, three or four years ago since we did our last one, I think. So you we did paid, a couple of mine off the West Kentucky Parkway. Say again? That they were just kind of access points. Yes, they were just basically access roads. roads. Mm -hmm. Yep. And they were a lot more gravel, and then we we paved them and got them, you know, and got you know put like four inches of block top on them, and and and, and, uh, and then you all were gracious enough to take those roads in, in return for us, to, you know, getting them out of the out of the gravel roads 
stage and until Black right. stage. So right. it's been a good deal over the years. You know, so uh, I mean, and so and those roads, I mean, literally some of those roads had a had a had an average traffic volume of like ten cars a day. You know, very low volume roads. Mm -hmm. And I'll be honest with you, we, we were not going to do a whole lot with those roads if we made, if we kept them other than keep the gravel graded on them and and, and make them passable. You know, so I understand. You all take them over actually was a betterment for those people who actually oh, yeah. use them. Yeah. Appreciate then, then, but you guys blacktop it. Uh, it allowed the blacktop to sequester the dust, I guess, or whatever. Yes, you know, and well, and the, from getting on the parkway is what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. And one of the other thing does too is is that, like with these flex funds and those discretionary funds that you get, Judge. Yeah. Uh, you got to use those typically on a road that's already got asphalt pavement on it. You can't use it to pave a gravel road. So by us doing that, then that allows you to use those funds on that road in the future. Yes, so I appreciate it. It's a lot, you know. It's 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 a it's it's definitely a, a relationship where I think everybody uh, typically comes out ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you, you know, if you, if you don't think this is this this one that we're talking about now, between 1903 and Bay Road, I mean, if you don't think this is in your own best interest, then you know, mm -hmm. there's, there's 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 nothing signed. Okay. You know, well. That's just, we're, we're going to try to work it out, though. Yes, sir. You know, and, and I think it would be in the best interest for everybody, again, because that's a low-volume road, not a lot of traffic on it. I mean, and, he, and the reason we know it's not a lot of traffic is because we closed it. Yeah. We wouldn't have closed that road if it had four or 500 cars a day on. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it was always a low-volume road, and and, uh, and it also gives you all some flexibility to do what you all want to do out there and not have to go through us for the permitting. Right process and you know if you, if you know our permit process is a little bit stringent where okay. you all have more flexibility than, than right we right appreciate it, Jason. yes sir thank Anything you else? That'll do. Thank yeah. you a lot. Is it, we'll be in touch with you on yes, there. Sir. Yeah. This is not a good time to bring up a road visit, Jason. Uh, we're, we're always, we're always <laughs> here to try to help well, you when we can. I brought it up before, but I was uh, thinking about the section that uh, from Dundee to Lake Worshipman, Highway 69 North to go out here. And there was blacktop on both ends, and, and the, uh, the part in the middle is, uh, has got somewhat some some damage on it or whatever some sizable places that need to be well it needs resurfacing is what it needs but you guys have resurfaced on both ends so Kentucky 69 is not a real secondary route okay so the real secondary route basically we being the fiscal court and ourselves have a lot of discretion on what gets done and on which routes, okay? Yeah. And we, of course, we always try to pick the things to work the, the most dire need routes, okay? Yeah. On the uh, FDO5 roads, they are evaluated and scored. And based on that score, depends on whether it gets resurfaced this year, next year, or five years from now, okay? Yeah. And they evaluate every road every other year. So, like I say, half of them will get done this year, the other half will get evaluated next yeah. year. But they'll, they'll, and they do, and when they evaluate, they, you know, they, they evaluate random sections of, of those, of those yeah. routes, right? Yeah. So, Jason, has is, is that been evaluated, or do you know? It has been evaluated. And so, our district, we have the biggest district in the state, so we get the, we get the most money for a resurfacing program in the state, right? Yeah. So, our resurfacing program this year was $23 million for 11 counties. And... That got us down to about number 35 on that list of roads that that's been you know it's been evaluated and scored. And so they started number one, which is the worst, and they work down that list until the money runs out. There is there's no there's, there's very little discretion into it. It's based totally off that score. And when your section of 69 gets into that range, it'll get resurfaced. And that's how all the this is the same way 231 works. That mm -hmm. All those roads work the same way. Mm -mm -mm. And there's a, there's a criteria on how they score. Yes. Yeah, we do have a little talk, of, get to talk about the grad whenever whenever those are scored. We get a little bit of input in it. Tomorrow morning we get grad. Yeah, yeah. So that's good. You, you might need to mention that again. We will. We mentioned all the time with that. The, now the part with the grad program, that's <coughs> talking about the... Uh, that's talking about what we what we proposed to the legislator also on that on that list, right? Right, right. On this resurfacing program for 
our SDO5 program, which is our, we call it MP, it's Eastern Mower, but your, anything that's not real secondary road is on this MP program. That doesn't get, that doesn't go to the legislators. That's just part of our, our maintenance budget. So, uh, and so that maintenance budget is basically every year. And because we, you know, our, our revenue is pretty stagnant, it hasn't gone up as much. That, that 23 million that our district gets every year has been consistent like that for mm -hmm. like that last eight years. Yeah, we sure hope to work on that next legislature. Yeah, next, so, next know, time. If, if, like if they change the, the gas tax, per se, and we get a little bit more, a few pennies more in a gallon, then we can address a lot more of the needs that we have out there. Because right now, the roads deteriorate faster than we can maintain them. Right. Right, yeah. yeah. I definitely know that feeling for the counties. Yes, yeah. sir. Thank you. The, the next thing we have, it's the CRA. That this is something we got passed this resolution just to get our money. We get to operate the. Uh, uh, thank you, Jason. Yes, sir. Thank you, thank you Matt. Y'all be careful going back to Madisonville. It's a scary old road. We ain't going out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good deal. We're going to and Henderson. <laughs> That's better. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, we we have to every year to pass our CRA resolution where we get our uh, county road aid from the state. And it's basically, yeah, we want it. And uh, so we have to pass resolution number 2019-16. And then each one of you have to sign it. I'll make a motion to accept. Motion by Jason Bullock. Was it up just a little bit? <coughs> Hands said about 5,000, man? Yes. So this is 4,000 something. Is this flex pass? No, no, this is just the, the gas money we get. Oh, the gas tax money we get. It's like 4.5. Motion by Jason. And Second. that's just for it to come into the county. We, yeah. we haven't distributed it out to the no. roads. In this no, it goes to the, it goes to the maintenance. It okay. goes what it's what we run the road department on. Yeah. Uh, I got a second by Larry Camp. Further discussion? Big on roll call. Camp? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? <coughs> yes. Okay. Just paste it around. Everybody's got to sign this one. And we'll start talking about something else while y'all signing that. Bo, you're on. I've got a resolution for, if y'all remember from last year, we was working on a direct trail grant for lights. We've, uh, we're applying for that again. I've got Jesse and Jody. Joanne. Jo Joanne with me from grad. They're helping me on this. And uh, what it is, it's going to consist of 158 solar powered lights. And uh, one code blue light for emergency purposes that will go directly to 911 if any emergencies happen on a walking trail. This is actually the same one we applied yes, for last that's year. Last year's project, and we're resubmitting it again, hopefully, to get some better results. We're not going to be trying to land an airplane there at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right next to the but that's something we really need to do. Y'all got a motion on that one? I guess, Larry, you'll let the sign up and leave. Didn't leave a line for you. I'll make a motion. I'll second. Motion by Sam, second by Jake. Any discussion or more questions for Bo? It's a real good thing if we can get it. It's going to really help our park a lot. And then I've got another resolution. Well, let's, we got past this one. Don't, don't, don't go anywhere. Is it like the one that has their beaver down? It's in the trail. No, no, it's just three miles. It's over the line. Here's the blue. Oh, so they're the tenth of them. The ones they got their beam in, I think yeah, they're, they're on the ground. Yeah, okay. All in favor? Well, go ahead and roll call it. Here you go, Dave. Thank you. This Cam, is done. Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Then we have one more. Tell us about the other project. The other one is the land water grant that we're applying for this year. It's something new. Uh, Worked with them on it. It's, uh, we're working on getting playground equipment for our uh, right around our softball field area. We don't have no playground equipment in that area. So we're trying to look for ways to do that. And it's a 50 50 grant. So, with that said, our labor and uh, equipment and everything else, we should meet close to where we need to be at on that. It's right around. Oh, yeah, left that. I'm sorry. Totally. So. Okay. They have motion for. Or just our. That's the match. That's the match. And I think there's only like a thousand. That's not kind of. Yeah. 
I'll make a motion on that. Motion by Sam Smile. I second. Second by Joe Barnes. Any further discussion? Being none? Roll call. Sam? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Okay, now then, let's open up some bids. On the, I got a real quick question. On the, on the land water grant, when is, when is the deadline for that? Uh, May 31st. Hold okay. on. Thank you. <laughs> Um, next, uh, let's open the bids on the dump truck. Uh, let's hand them to Larry Cowan since he's chairman. Of, oh, he's got, never mind, Joe, you got him. You no, can do that's it. good. No, send them on down that okay, way. Okay, you No, no, there. go ahead. Go ahead, Joe. You, he needs some sunshine. <laughs> yeah, right yeah, go ahead. You can do it. I was trying to catch a nap here. Go ahead. <laughs> Is it just one, by the way? It's I've only got one envelope. Is there only one? Okay. Open it and tell us what it says. We'll make a motion to approve it if you so choose. What did we get? Three amulets bids? Mm -hmm. They'll be next. I'm going to have Marcus come up here. <laughs> Marcus, you might start working your way up here because we're ne you're it's, next. Uh, from Worldwide Equipment Enterprise. Well, I'm going to make sure. Thank you. Good. Good. All right. How you doing, Marcus? I'm good. Come on up here and you'll stand behind Cam here and y'all will open them. Is the bid seem to be in order, Joe? Well, it's got a bunch of specs here. I'm just making sure that everything's included on this. Front. What do we got here? Where the price is. Fire I'm safety. Sure not any additional. And I suspect it's a Kenworth, right? Who's got it now? Where's this thing made? Yeah. Yeah. Do you all pretty much know who you are? Yeah. we got a pretty good idea. Yeah, we got a pretty good idea. See my numbers are good. Here. Need a knife? Yeah. Ooh, that thing's sharp. They easy to help. Paramedic are on the same time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just supposed to heal people, not cut them. That's right. You don't do surgery in the field, do you? Well, we've been called field surgeons. Are you getting about ready for me, David? As soon as uh, as Joe makes his motion. You open hey, bye, folks. See you tomorrow. Yeah, uh, I think it was four or five builders, remounters. We uh, we yes, asked them to submit. And is this a rebuild? This yes. is for a remount. Yeah, the remount. I mean, yeah, for old mid three, mid three. Oh, price for it's if if it's like a thousand dollar difference, and you know one company and you don't the other, we don't have to take the lowest. We just have to take the best, lowest and best. Instead of good, I don't know if it would come out that well, but if it does, we've used both of them before. That's, that's, Neither one of them's bad, but that's, that's where we're going. It's not why we're holding the truck and taking our box. Right. Upgrade I'm going to assume it's just like the one we got, except we don't have to cut the tailgate off. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness. Tell you What's the, the difference in them? Well, the truck with the... Our, 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 they've, with, uh, uh, they've done well. Ten okay. foot Stick around here. Body. I'm going to take y'all's recommendation on what And the plow. And it's 104. Two of those. Midway through this. Yeah, this is the one John White did it. Yes, yeah, we've used total both. adjusted we've price, used to like price warranty and surcharge is 120. Very good work. And at the end, we've got a price of 26686 so I don't know if they got them broke up. That's why I'm trying we'll to be here with some rules. Here's how much we want. Place or something. Location. Yeah, that's our rip up. Yeah. Is that last one an option we have to have or not? The twenty-seven thousand. So what is that? Is it some more options? The twenty-seven might be for the bed. Yes, sir. It is. Joe Key said probably for the bed. <laughs> we can't harm much rock on if we don't have it. <laughs> With that other add-on, I don't know what it is and whether we need to do not. No more it comes up in the 4th District, I'll tell you. No. <laughs> well, it'll have a new turn signal on it. 
it'll, it'll, oh, I think we got the turn signal fixed on one truck. Oh, on one truck. Well, that's uh, you know that's good news. That's they good wouldn't sure. turn right coming out of Quarry for a long time. No. Is that what it was? Yeah, I didn't know. No right well, the steering. Went. Steering was stuck on it. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this down. I got you. Can y'all go ahead with that. Hey, uh, can Joe, we, okay, that? we'll skip over. No, no, is that something we need to do tonight? Because it'll be a month before. Well, no, no, we're gonna there. do it. He just wants to talk to Keith. Well, see, you got 104, 95, and it's it's got the truck. And it says right here, truck dump chassis with 10 foot. I'm bailing that to the hospital. Body. And oh, plow. But then you flip over here in the middle. But at that price, that should have been on it, Joe. But I'm going to make sure. Well, then you, you jump over here, and there's a price of 120. <laughs> after you go through all this paperwork. And it says, you got total adjusted price with freight, warranty, and surcharge. I'm not ready for it, but I just want to make sure you have it. And you go to the back end here. And the personnel thing. You got a price of 26600 sure Yeah, but this, this first one showed that it had a bed on it. Ten foot. Body and plow. And plow. 104 995 yeah. Well, it should be that, Tim. I don't know. Why don't you just make then, a motion on, on condition that... Uh, that but then we get... What's this? What's this, what's this 120? That one. Joe, you think you make a motion on the condition that it has the bed on it at 120? Mm -hmm. No business. Do you think that's what it is? It's supposed to be the same as the last one. How much do you think it was? Tell me 120. what it is. 120? Well, we've yeah. no, accepted well. that. All right, I'll go forward. What? Where did we come up the other money? We only had $90,000 in the house, but $200,000. We're taking a loan, I think. Hey, Ann. We got a can loan. we borrow you for a second? Probably the most important thing. We we'll borrow money on it. I thought, well, I thought one of them did yeah. borrow money. Yeah, it, it, was it was this. It was this. The other one was... Uh, the house bill money yeah, it was nine thousand in the house bill too. Yeah, be coming on later. Mm -hmm. Toward the toward the uh, so the, the, the other part will come in later then after we take them. We'll toward borrow the, most of the money. Toward the what? Toward the spray truck. Yeah, that's what we borrow. I just want to make sure. I mean, because right now we don't have. Hey, no, we're borrowing thirty. Borrow the money from the just the right line. now all we got to set aside and we're going to. Hundred million. We've already is ninety thousand. We've already twenty something. Where's the five? We can't take reserves and that down time. Did you hear that? Uh, this is the line out of money. No, no. That's we have ninety thousand in the line item money for that truck. The dump truck. I thought we can. Can't we go ahead and borrow? Y'all want to borrow the rest of it and get it? We well, need it. If we, you we, borrow the rest of it, you have to make payments, and that's not in the budget. So whatever the payments are, you're going to have to cut somewhere else in the budget to make those payments. Well, it would be in the budget. Because I'm getting a total price here of 120 <coughs> We can't amend the budget. It, this will be in the budget, the new budget, 1920. Yeah, the proposed one. Yeah, I mean, the budget is balanced, so if you're going to borrow money and have payments, that's something addition. You're going to have to cut something. Yeah, what but kind of payment would you be looking at? Well, it'd be well a are you looking at total of thirty? The, the next, the thirty-one thousand really. Down the line? Five, yeah. Of course, you were going to use the one on down the line to pay back the freight truck. Yeah, but the, the proposed budget is so, what she's talking about. Just she didn't, we haven't even got a copy. We might get yeah, a copy. I mean, oh, yeah, we can do that. Yeah, we can so, use the well, money well, on that, down there, right. and we'll still be making payments on the spray truck, which is in there. And is then we'll. Spray truck, is it budget? The spray truck budget. The spray truck is budgeted. Okay. Well, we'll use the. We'll uh, make the. We'll use that next line item to pay back this one. Okay. We'll I mean, go and borrow. We still have to borrow some money, but it yeah, I know, but we'll. Short term. Yeah, but we'll pay it back out of that. All right. What budget are you talking about, and the one we're on now, or the one that we're? The one you're going to get for next year. But we haven't be, We haven't approved it yet, so. But it's a balanced budget, so if you add that in. You're in the hole. But we'll take our line out of money and pay it. It's on down there. It's in that. It's in the coal service money for equipment for the roads. We'll finish paying it off when we get it. There won't be no big deal. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah. Well, 
vote for it. Okay, Joe, 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 did you make a motion? What, I mean, he I'll did. make a motion that we purchase the the uh, Kenworth dump truck. Granted, it does include the bed and the Palau for a total price of one twenty eight nine seven. I will second that motion. Motion is second. <laughs> Joe Bond. Yeah, you go ahead and include that about the bottom of thirty thousand. Yes, yes, go ahead. And that needs to be a separate motion. Oh, it needs to be a separate. Yeah. Okay, let's vote on this. Everybody wants the truck? Say aye. 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 Motion carried. I don't think there's any nay. Anybody nay? wants to borrow money? No. Okay. Uh -huh. Now <laughs> we've done bought it. Now we got to pay for it. Joe, go ahead and make the motion to borrow the thirty to be paid back out of the line out of money next year. I make the motion that we borrow approximately thirty-one thousand to pay the remaining amount on this dump truck. To have a second. That's that one. Honey. Second. Second, Larry Amorphy. All in favor, say aye. Opposed. Like so I, I don't know where we're at, but you have yeah, to sell yeah, that's what I was. That might do it. We can. But say we'll make that next meeting. We'll just have to see where we're at when the ball gets sold. Let's move on that roll on down the road here. We just need to keep that in mind that that money's already maybe accounted for. Did we vote on that check? We did. We bought and borrowed the money already. So now we're opening the bids for the ambulance. Yes. Uh Larry Cowan, Larry Morphy, to open them. The ambulance folks are here, and between them, they're going to tell you what the bids were and make a motion on which one we're going to accept. Okay, we've got fire safety here. Was the one you wanted the cheapest? We're not sure yet. We don't know yet. We'll find out here in a second. This is. What about the one you have used? The same. You got a good bid? Okay. Not bad. I like to see what's going on. I think you can go ahead and check that first one right now. Oh my gosh. I think you can. Yeah, you can go ahead and forget about that first one. Okay, this is Select Tech. Okay. You know them? Yes, they did a recently did a uh, uh, killing truck. Yeah, they said 100. Okay, what's your next one there, Larry? I'm going to put this in the box. Road. Road. Yeah. That has got the prettiest book, I'll tell you right yeah. now. Uh oh, well, this is uh, right here. Now, this must be the end of the seven. <laughs> what's the name of this? Crossroads. 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 I'm at the rally. Indian. Crossroads, crossroads, yeah. crossroads, yeah. I bet that skid steer salesman can convince you to buy this. <laughs> you remember him? Probably. Yeah. Uh, do these guys here do a halfway job? They, they both. That's about. It's about eight thousand dollars a difference. But it's the cheapest one he said was one they've done business with. Yeah. It should be. Yeah. It should be. It should be. In Logan County, and they've done them a good job. So. Yeah. So I guess that's a no-brainer if they like them and they're cheapest. Yeah. So I guess if you want to uh, want to make the motion, we can. Do it more. Okay. They they've done it. They've done the work for us. Okay. For, and done for another, another county. But I've you got to hang on to those these two. Do good work. Uh, yeah. A good, a good, good, good bid for both of them. Every good uh, At this point, it's hard to do it. Uh, we can say we can say eight thousand dollars. That's good. Yeah. And next go around, they they might bring these guys down. Yeah. Well, that's, that's the goal. That's you're, the goal. you ready to do a motion? Yeah. 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 Larry Camp's yeah. gonna make a motion. Okay. Let me get these back to uh, Miranda. Miranda. Thank you much. Uh, we received three bids on the ambulance. Bids, uh, Far Safety USA was $109,449. Select Tech was $79,700. Crossroads Amlets was $87,892. And it is, uh, it's the feeling of the, the bid at $79,700 is, uh, uh, my understanding they do good work. And so, and they've worked with us before. So that will that'll be my bid. That Select Tech will will put the mount on our 
Hamlets at $79,700. How much in House Bill 200 money do we have set aside for that? Enough. Okay. I second it. Have a motion and second. Do we have enough for that second? Any discussion? <laughs> <laughs> Any discussion? Go sit back down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. We just got us a new ambulance. Thank you, sir. We got a remount. Yeah, we got us a new wheel. Yeah. You won't know it from a used one. Yeah, that's true. Y'all take care of your stuff. Y'all take care of your stuff now. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, sir. The golf course guy. Sorry, I got it. Uh, next. We have a person, the, the gentleman that we hired for the golf course did not stay, he, he left. Uh, Bo was just absolutely too hard on him. Uh, I want to, uh, that's not true, the guy had personal family reasons. Uh, but the, uh, want to put up the name of Timothy Lacefield at the golf course helper at 725 an hour, starting on 414, 19. Uh, I didn't say the rate of pay. He's seasonal. So I put that name up. Roll call. Yes. Kim? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the right. Since I'm on roll with that, I'm going to go ahead and do this library appointment before I ask for committee reports. Uh, so don't forget it. Because I've on a deadline on here. I'm going to put the name of Becky Gaither of Mike Henry, Kentucky, to uh, fill out the term of Michelle Fence, who uh, who left the uh, library board, and uh, this will get her to November the 14th, 2021. Becky Gaither, roll call. Count. Yes. Mark you. Yes. Small. Yes. Bullock. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Johnston. Yes. Catch the minutes to that when you send it to me. Okay. At least that page of it. Um, committee reports. I, I know the Waterline Committee met this afternoon. Uh, Chairman Cowan, would you go ahead and report on that? Yes, we came up with a prioritization of, uh, of the water lines. I think everybody's had an opportunity to see it, so I'll entertain a motion that... Uh, this sir, this shall supersede any other uh, conversation. Do I have a second? Second. Second, Sam Small. Any discussion? Being none. Roll call. Kim. Yes. Morphew. Yes. Small. Yes. Bullock. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Johnston. Yes. Okay. Master's comments and uh, requests will be next. Sam. Uh, I do not judge. I just want to uh, thank the court for the time. I'm probably going to have that discussion. Uh, uh, just, I, it ain't that I don't want this to happen. I just want to make sure we get our uh, ducks in a row before we uh, commit something that, that we might regret. Uh, I have reason to believe, Sam, you have pretty good authority on the individual that you talked to about it. And that's all I have, Jason. Jake. Jake. No, thank you. Joe. Yes, I got one thing. I, can I uh, change that on the motion about the borrowing the money for the truck and just to add in that motion uh, any of the <coughs> government deals that we have from the road okay. department to be sold? To be applied to it? Applied to it. Who second that? I'll second. Okay. He's, Jason second. He's amending his motion to it. use it. Uh, right. Not right. Maybe not borrow the whole 31, but We're borrow... What's left out of that? So, okay, go ahead. Uh, any, any, uh, we got a motion, a second. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. That'll just supersede that other motion. You'll just add it to its amendment. I'm just going to add that. Add or we could have motion. resented the motion either one. Is no, she's just going to add it. Okay. The next separate motion. So That'll we got work. it. Yeah. That'll work too. Uh, okay, no we got to just. Try. If that's okay. Yeah. Then he goes straight over there. You got anything? Larry? Larry? No. Justin? No, thanks. Well, y'all hang on. Oh, 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 what? Oh, 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 oh. Uh, the special call meeting. Where are we going to do it? Uh, at Beaver Dam at the, at the City Hall. 
No. Now I'm in school, a Beaver Dam Grade School, and what's the day down at? 25th. 25th. At 4.30 at the Beaver Dam Elementary oh. School. And there will be bills and claims on there. And the only other item should be on it would be uh, open to the public. And hopefully we'll have some people there to talk to us from Beaver Dam. Hey, Miranda. What's the date again? And 25th. 25th. 4.30. 4.30. Right after pictures. <laughs> she's been, she's been yes, sarcastic. <laughs> uh, leave that to me. We're <laughs> <out there. laughs> I, I am sorry. It's not on the agenda. I'm sorry, gentlemen. We're not going to adjourn without listening, hearing from from Chase and and Cece. Just Chase. We are Thursday the 25th at 4:30. Is that right? and Jody? Is that right, Miranda? Thursday 25th 4:30. Yeah. Beaver Dam. Yeah. yeah. Uh, elementary. elementary. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good evening. Uh, I am due to give you all my quarterly report for the business of second <coughs> uh, since the beginning of the year. Uh, before you, you should have uh, a written printout of uh, some bullet points that I'd like to go over with you. Uh, first and foremost, we, we hired our assistant director, Jody Ashby. Uh, she started at the beginning of the year and couldn't come at a better time. Uh, this first quarter of this calendar year has been been very busy. Uh, since the beginning of the year, we have submitted four RFPs for potential industries inter interested in bluegrass crossings. To give you a baseline of what the history has been, we would be lucky to get two or three a year. And we've had four this past quarter. So that indicates to me that, um, that business activity has increased and bluegrass crossings is on the short list for a lot of projects. Um, we were uh, notified that we were no longer in the running for one, but I, I believe we're still in the running for the other three that have made the decision. Our .NET C Sharp Coding Bootcamp has just launched. Uh, we have seven participants that will be going through that 10-month uh, part-time coding bootcamp. Uh, we recently just held a graduation ceremony for the two Java Coding Bootcamp. Uh, participants that graduated. One of them has found employment in the coding uh, industry. The other one is still working with uh, the career coach to uh, find employment. We're exploring other training opportunities for remote work uh, to host at the Hub. Uh, Thursday we're going to be launching a Google IT support certificate cohort. Um, that one is not going to be free of charge for the participant. They will pay a monthly, uh, the monthly tuition cost that uh, the Google administers. Right. Is it Google? No, it's Coursera. Coursera, I'm sorry. Coursera. Google, Google is the certificate that they get. The training program. We have uh, one new full-time tenant at the Hub. That brings our total at the Hub to three full-time tenants. Uh, we still have uh, the day office and the conference and training room periodically. We have a couple loan prospects in the pipeline. Uh, they're all still in discovery phases, and they all take different amounts of time. It's hard to say uh, how long uh, before they come before you. We've assisted a few entrepreneurs in forming their LLCs. We've had several ribbon cuttings for new businesses throughout the county. Uh, as, of course, you all know, we issued the loan to Renfro Distributing for the opening of Uncrafted Territory, uh, the microbrewery in Beaver Dam. That should be, I think they're slated to open within this next quarter, or within the quarter that we're currently in, uh, by the end of June, hopefully. WPT uh, secured uh, new contracts and is, uh, I think they just got done filling them, but added 35 jobs at their uh, plant on Goshen Road. National Office Furniture secured a new contract and is adding 15 new positions. Uh, Purdue is, is adding new positions. We're working on revamping our website and marketing material. Um, I created a website for us when I came into this position, but that was four and a half years ago. And, and with the way things go, you need to keep those up to date or, or they start looking old uh, pretty quickly. <coughs> and we're also, we're also looking at new uh, marketing opportunities. We want to start a, a video series uh, showcasing what is uh, produced in Ohio County. That would be uh, serve a dual purpose of promoting community pride because a lot, of, a lot of our citizens don't really know what all businesses we have and, and industries we have in our, here in Ohio County. And there really is a lot to be proud of. The other purpose of that video series will be that we can use it to market to potential industries that might have complementary goods or services associated with what we already have in, here in the county. 
We applied for the READY initiative, that's Rural Economic Development Innovation with USDA. Uh, if awarded, it would help us uh, pay for uh, studies with the Community Economic Development Institute of Kentucky at the University of Kentucky. They can help us perform comprehensive economic development plans, uh, industry and retail leakage analyses, and uh, help us you know, uh, have better metrics to measure our performance. So we're hoping uh, we just applied for that and we should have an answer back about that within a month or so. We attended an Opportunity Zone workshop in Bowling Green and we're working with grads to help market this designation. Uh, an Opportunity Zone designation, uh, we applied for all four of the five census tracts here in the county that qualified. Uh, Hartford and Beaverdam were awarded that. And what that is is a uh, capital gains tax deferral and eventual forgiveness if an investment is held for over 10 years. It makes uh, Bluegrass Crossings and the Hartford and Beaverdam census tracts uh, more attractive to outside investment. Uh, Jody attended a, a Kentucky United uh, meeting in Chicago with site selectors uh, pitching Ohio County and Bluegrass Crossings, trying to get ourselves uh, out in front of these site selectors uh, more than we have in the past. We're still work, or we're working on uh, uh, the trail connector project. We applied uh, for this a, a couple of years ago with the Transportation Alternatives Program to construct a pathway uh, off of Highway 69 where the shoulder drops off the county park so the people would be able to drive the bike all the way from inside the city limits uh, to the, the Parks 3 Mile Trail. And connecting the trail system to a city is essential for our trail town uh, application. So we're still working on that. We're getting cost estimates for the river access points, uh, now including labor, because we were anticipating um, using in-kind labor with Job Corps in the cities. But the material estimates came back so low that we decided we needed to go back and look at possibly just including the labor to make it uh, more efficient. Good deal. Researching forming a community corrections committee to explore improving our reentry services and alternative sentencing. So obviously this is important for our workforce development. We need these people out in the workforce working. Pushing the OCTC's FAME program along with the new Tech X program. Uh, working with TVA to discuss electrical expansion requirements at Bluegrass Crossings. I already mentioned the four RFIs this quarter. Uh, worked on uh, the I-369 designation for the uh, Western Kentucky Parkway. And then lastly, I have on there, I'm sure you all read that uh, we were working with Ozzie and Tyler uh, to be able, uh, for them to be able to uh, build rick houses here in the county. They had some issues with zoning up in Davis County, so they started looking at the surrounding counties and we were able to help them uh, find land available to build these rick houses. Bourbon barrels are uh, tax, uh, they pay an ad valorem uh, barrel tax, and that goes to the county. And they're going to be building right away nine rick houses with potential to double that within two years. They're installing uh, new fermenters on site up there in Owensboro. And they're going to be producing about 95,000 barrels a year. So it was imperative that they get something up and going quickly because they were running out of room to store their bourbon up in Owensboro. Uh, that project alone is going to, uh, once the barrels have aged uh, four years, going to be about a million dollars of additional tax revenue in this county. About 600 of that going to the school system. But it's still a lot of money going into this county. When we first reached out to them, uh, well, after the story broke, I reached out to Judge Mattingly in Davis County and Brittany Johnson, their economic development uh, head up there in Owensboro, letting them know that uh, you know if, if Davis County wasn't suitable, that Bluegrass Crossings would be the next best option because Davis County is a partner in Bluegrass Crossings. Okay. When, I'm uh, sorry. Just to clarify. What he means is after the story broke that they could not find space. Yes, I'm sorry. Well, they actually saw this first. They called me. Well, and I thought yeah. passed it on to Chase. Yeah, we so reached out to them. Yeah. Right after the story broke that they couldn't find land in the mm -hmm. we reached out to Al Mattingly in Owensboro before they ever contacted the district. Okay. Before they ever contacted us. Yeah, and all that's just to say that, you know, uh, I've been accused personally of you know, stealing business from Davis County, but uh, if, you know, if the business can't find suitable locations where they are, then, and, and they're calling around to surrounding counties, then 
We're going to answer the call. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We, yeah. we, if you keep us still from them, we'll we'll yeah, we'll like provide that. your gun the mask. You know, no problem. Chase, I, right, sure. I understand they have fumes that come off of the uh, barrels. There are. Uh, I was just looking for a place to relocate. <laughs> <laughs> I just got go to go down there. There has been some uh, some discussion about um, mold surrounding uh, affecting the surrounding neighborhoods. That is an issue um, primarily up in Louisville where you have rick houses that are right across the street from a residential yeah. neighborhood. And obviously that won't be an issue for us. Yeah, I, well, I, was just, <laughs> I was just being somewhat trying to be humorous. Does that mean they are going to spray then? Is it spray. in the contract for them to spray for it? He's saying the distance prohibits it from being a problem. Distance, should I go ahead and get a birthday I don't think they do have uh, equipment that they can install to reduce that. But, <laughs> but they, you know, if, if you look at, if you, if you saw a map of how far out it affects the mm -hmm. surrounding property, it's, again, it's it's not even 100 feet away. So. Okay. Because no one's rolling over there by their rig houses and their their stuff, no oh, trees all around there. Over the 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 <laughs> there's probably a black crap. So... <laughs> That would be something that the county could potentially look at. Um, uh, Jacob called the master distiller has uh, invited uh, the judge and I to lunch. So any any other yeah. issues that you all can think of, you would like for us to bring. We'll, we'll bring you back. We'll bring you back. By the Owensboro Airport, and I don't know what happened there, That's but it fell deal. through, and they didn't want to spray while they were out there. Right. The issue with the airport property um, is that, that like, right like our two, uh, Lake Bluegrass Crossings, is right? it's set aside yeah. primarily for job yeah. Yeah. We're going to need some of the loose gold. Well, the board had, I believe, maybe more if you're going to put them in there. Them locating out there is that that would be... A little bit, uh, just a tiny bit more. Take away that much space for another potential industry that say might hire 500 jobs. Yeah. Similar instance, we a few weeks ago we had a solar company from Idaho contact us interested in bluegrass crossings to put a utility scale solar farm and they wanted the whole thousand acres and as uh, the grid of board we said we're not interested because that's not what the park was intended for so i think that was more in line with what happened uh, with their issue at the air park and then obviously with the uh, property that they had an option on off of uh, highway 60 and the Owensboro bypass was the the zoning issue so uh, we reached out to them, didn't get a response initially, and then they contacted the judge's office and we worked with them uh, to negotiate a deal, and we were able to make it happen. Yeah. Chase, I really appreciate it. I do, too. Uh, I'll tell you something else I really appreciate. I appreciate all the accomplishments you made, but I really appreciate you looking outside the box. You know, we know that our uh, workforce is our limiting factor now, and the fact that you're doing the research on the Community Corrections Committee to, to work with these alternative sentences that may bring us more workers that can work in the county. And, of course, that's what Kenny Autry is working on all the time, too, is trying to improve our workforce. So I do appreciate it that you didn't have uh, blinders on and that you could kind of see the big picture a little better. And that's one thing I really appreciate that you did. Thank you. So we got to give a, a heads up for Joey. She's done a wonderful job. Yeah. Uh, she took up the slack, which Lord knows you just leave them, but no, I'm kidding. But uh, we do appreciate everything Jody does, and, and she, she has fit in well, and uh, we're breaking her in slowly. Yeah, like I said at the beginning, uh, uh, the addition of that position couldn't have come at a better time with everything that was going on with the RFIs and, and the new businesses opening up. But um, I can't stress enough that, that the, the volume of business that, you know, that, that we get requests for and that tr is transacted in this county. Um, we need two people. You know, I can't be two places at once uh, to be able to fully support the business community in this county. So yes. I greatly appreciate that. Appreciate it. And um, among the growing businesses also, I keep in contact with Henry Christ of Dunaway Timber Company, uh, and he's looking to do more all the time too. So uh, so there will be more jobs if we can find the workers to fill them. Uh, well, our county's not going to grow unless you guys grow in uh, the industry in our county. Because, you know, we need tax revenue, and this is the way to grow it. I still want to leave that on the mix. I'm just going to add real quick to what David said about the workforce, um, because we have to look at that a lot. And just to let you know, as an update or whatever, 
the workforce development that we're doing here is shining across Kentucky. I know it doesn't seem that way, but whenever I visited with the site selectors in Chicago, we were with the panel. I had seven other people from Kentucky. I was the only one who spoke about workforce development. We could brag on the TechX program. We could brag on the uh, GoFame program because we're paying attention to that stuff. So even though Rock County it doesn't look like we're doing much in-house with workforce, workforce development shines here right now, so we can be proud of that. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's important. That's why we put the put uh, Kenny where he's at, uh, and I really appreciate all that y'all do toward that. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, now I want to present to you guys. The, I'm sorry I almost overlooked you. You just uh, was so quiet. You should say something like breaking chairs and all. <laughs> 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 She's blaming it on me. <laughs> but I don't see that. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to give you the budgets. Please read the cover letter from me. It is confidential. That's not for the public. Uh, what have we got it on the front page? Well, I mean, you're, it's, you're supposed to say it, but don't show nobody else. At this point, I think we'd be locking keys. Here you go. Budget, I and then, uh, I'm sure if we have a copy for the other elected officials, too. So, uh, I don't know how you got two letters. Oh, I've got both letters. Okay, I'll take them back. Uh, I've got a copy for you. And, uh, Justin. and Justin, yeah, I forgot. I really, Sorry, we're I really wasn't going to tell him. I'm about for the budget to matter, really. We need <laughs> an increase. Oh, here comes and Tracy back up here. No, and, no, uh, no. See you want more money, too? <laughs> yeah. We, we, had to, we will have a budget, budget workshop. Uh, in a few weeks, we'll call everybody, make sure it's okay. We want everybody there, and we'll do that right away. And I'll buy a pizza. Will that be before our next meeting? We'll yeah. Oh, definitely, definitely. Just as soon as y'all have time to look it over, good. We're going to schedule it. Not to complain, but what happened to the filet mignon? If you, I guarantee you'll pass it. I'll do it. Hey, hey, I'll, I'll do it if that's a vote. Larry's probably in that front left. <laughs> I thought somebody. Well, I thought they would get that job. Right after the meeting, we'll get the new material. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys start working. Well, I hope you wouldn't want to do it over because we're going to talk to the public over there. Yeah. Probably back here. Well, we can come back here. We can do it after that, maybe. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't give it to you. Yeah. No, right here. We do it. Go to No. No, we don't want to do that. We got, we got I'm just thinking that it's brought together anyway. I mean, because Easter's coming up, that weekend's kind of out. He's not the corner. Oh, my goodness. I didn't realize. I'm going to trade that. I mean, let me get I gave you the wrong one, Justin. Sorry about that. What? I mean, this is yours. Well, you knew. Is that what you were You knew. Well, yeah. I need to take a picture. Yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, uh, on the, the 25th, are you guys day. good after the uh, meeting in Beaverdam to come uh, back here and talk about the budget? The 25th? Sure. Yeah. 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 It'd be easier. We're all we're together. Already, yeah. Yeah. It shouldn't be a long one. Yeah. Yeah. Sam, you good with that? What? On the 25th, after Beaverdam. That's after, after the meeting? After the meeting. For the budget. I'm having one more, Larry, for the road. Yeah. Hey, Chris, I've got one more truck. I think we've got one more truck. That's the plan. Okay, good deal. There's Beth's. And here's an extra. I don't know who it's there. There it is. I usually keep a copy. No, I guess that's it. That's your copy. That's what I did. Um, if Dwight, it's best need one of these covers. Yeah. No, okay. absolutely not. Okay, uh, okay uh, folks, with nothing else to uh, do for the good of the county, we're not going to discuss the budget tonight. We're having the budget workshop immediately after the next court meeting, the 25th. So we're coming... We're going to leave the uh, Beaverdam School and come back here. So that's all. Uh, that, uh, with, with that said, this meeting's adjourned.